everybody. Welcome to the Super Awesome Wrestling Show uh, podcast. SC Rocks here with Lil Dre and the Doc making an appearance back here. Uh, we finally got him back in. Um, we're going to do a podcast today on what? I was going to say I was out on hiatus. But... Yeah, hiatus. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do one today on Bigfoot. Uh, thought it'd be an interesting topic to hit on for a little while. Um, where do we want to get started? Uh, you a believer? I guess uh, I'm not 100% until there's uh, like a, a physical form, I guess, or some kind of body or better footage or something, but there's, I, I feel like there's definitely something. So you're, like, I don't, I, I don't think there's... Are you a skeptic, or are you like, now, in, on the fence? Yeah, I guess that's more like it, because I don't think, uh, you know, 10,000 or 5,000 or even 100 guys can uh, collaborate together enough to, you know, get a hair sample here or a footprint. Has there ever been a legit Many, hair sample found, though? I, well, as far as I know, it's like primate-based or bipedal primates or whatever. Right. As far as I know, I mean, I'm not, I don't follow it greatly, but I, I think there's been some kinds of evidence of something. Right. What do you think? Maybe he's still what I'm saying. So are you a believer? Or I'm a believer. He's still what I was going to say. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm a believer, too, uh, with a little bit of skepticism, I guess. I'm right there with the doc. Um, I think there's something out there. There's not really proof, which I don't understand. That's why I find it hard to believe sometimes. I, the footprints, that's most definitely something that I think would be hard to fake. Uh, you should say something about why would somebody walk out. Yeah, I was listening to a show with a couple of guys. They were talking about how uh, it just seems ridiculous that a, a guy could like walk out into the woods like far enough that like nobody can see him but close enough into the woods that somebody will eventually find these prints and right. these prints got to be like you know six or seven feet apart in, in span it's like thinking like Shaquille O'Neal you, you got to make these prints perfect enough that people are going to buy them as as a Bigfoot then deep enough so if you get like Shaquille O'Neal okay he's like what 300 and some odd pounds that's the stride and then you got to make the perfect footprint then you then you're going to get the depth you're going to have to strap on like 400 pounds worth of weight because right. the average they think the average Bigfoot's like 700 to 1000 pounds so you're going to have to strap on all this weight for him to make a six foot stride for, you know, is it, what are two feet or, or two steps or 10 steps or 15 steps? Right. That just, that sounds ridiculous. <clears throat> like it's, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. I, the one thing that really makes me wonder is how come they haven't found, I mean, that's the big skeptics thing is how come they've never found bones? They've never found a body. Um, but well, then on the other hand, we're just now finding like skeletal remains or even like live specimen of things that are like under the ocean like yeah these monster squids and stuff that we didn't know there's millions probably billions of acres of forests that we've probably never touched yeah we don't know what's there i mean well going who's to say there's not something there uh going off your uh not finding a body or anything i mean how many times have you seen a bear body right yeah They're right there with you you never come across like a once in a while you find a deer carcass yeah but, but how many deer are out there but you know what if I mean? you see a deer carcass on the side of the road 99 percent of the time it probably got hit by a car right right but i'm saying there's yeah. there's probably millions of deer compared to yeah who knows how many bigfoot there are if there are bigfoot but mm -hmm. say there's 200 what are the chances of you coming across the skeletal remains of that seeing as, as how elusive they are yeah you know what i mean um What's something that makes you believe? If you're like walking out in the woods somewhere, like where, like if you're hiking and there's not many people where they'd be going, and then you hear knocks, or you're walking out in the woods and then just randomly a tree falls over, you hear like whoops out in the woods, and like no, you nobody would else would be normally around there. Right. That's a. Uh, 
we like to go out in the woods from oh. time to time and uh, look for Bigfoot evidence. Um, we've heard knocks a few times. It's that hard was, to tell. That was my next question. Yeah. What about the knocks? Well, just uh, I, I know you personal got, experiences. I, yeah, I know you guys have uh, get outside a lot more than I do, but. We've heard knocks before. What kind of weird crap have you heard? A, tree fell a over. big tree fell over, which I mean, it could just be an old tree that fell down. Um, yeah. Especially in this area, it's a decently populated area, so who's to tell that there's anything out there? But hiking four miles back into the woods, and you're hearing a knock on yeah. a tree, and it, you know it's not a woodpecker, it's not an animal. It sounds like somebody has a stick or a log, and they're thumping it on a tree. That's hard to explain um i want to bring up the fact that your mom says she's seen one yeah, in this mother. area before which is around where we hike yeah i wish i had my son here because uh she, she or uh, he was with her at the time they, they swear up and down that they had saw something like it had glowing eyes and it was a a big big kind of animal I, I guess you could probably put it as a bear but she, they say it was on two feet by how your mom oh, was says it? it. I, I don't it maybe even know I know more when she tells a story she's pretty pretty adamant that it was a yeah big foot. my so, mom's not the type to uh, make up some bullshit right yeah <laughs> so, right and it, like I said it's right in this area it's yeah. five miles from our house probably a mile and a half from where we usually hike and go back and try to look for things um, back on that topic we have found one structure that looks really, really? like it could be not man-made back in the middle of the woods um big logs that are i place are, are they like teepee shaped or are they just like this, laid down kind of like this it, it, it it's not something that could have just happened like it's yeah. it's it's built but it's built in such a way that for a human to do it they would have had to been Huge. seven foot tall and you know, 400, because there's, the brace structure is, it's a log, it's a tree that goes across, and it's braced really? in. And yeah, then it's got, the, it's got the, it's got huge yeah. logs put up on the, right, yeah. like, and it, there's the just, there's no way that, like, it just randomly, nature made everything fall this way, and. Did, did you, uh, I know we're both big fans of Les Stroud. Yep. Um, did you ever watch the episodes he had with Bigfoot I when he was going in there? A lot of them. And yeah, some of those all of trees were weird. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe just seeing the way you describe it kind of remind me of that. Yeah. And if, if you can find those uh, episodes somewhere on the uh, Google machine, there, check it out. Survivor Man, Les yeah, Stroud. Inter interesting stuff um, on Bigfoot. Pretty good episodes. Yeah. He he was a skeptic too when he went in. Yeah. And I I think he's a believer now. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, those are really interesting. I thought. What else is there? Evidence wise, I don't. You mostly always see footprints. You always see the footprint cast yeah. that they find. Um, once in a while, you hear about a hair sample that comes back, and they don't know what it is. That, that's my my biggest uh, supporting skepticism is that, that there's just no evidence. Yeah, there's I mean, just no physical. I believe that. is because I mean I've experienced things, so that's why I'm more of a believer. But I'm still a skeptic in. There's not hard evidence. Mm -hmm. There's not. There was the uh, Patterson and Gimlin film from, I believe, 1967. Um, don't quote me on that. The original Bigfoot film. Um, I know I had watched a documentary on that one time, and they were talking about uh, how they had taken it to like scientific uh, movie experts or whatever. And how hard it would be to from that time to make a. Bigfoot suit. Like, exactly. Yeah. Yep. And then have them walk like that. The, yeah, the walk. I guess the movement in the movie. Yeah, like they tried gonna, to, that, I, it doesn't. I've, I've seen stuff like that on how people try and recreate the uh, the walk, and it's just the way he was kind of like. It's just yeah, his not, joints were in like different spots or something as yeah, to what a human. It's not a normal walk. And I don't. Um, the way the movie was made in 1967, I think I don't understand how they would fake it. It's it's been. Uh, legitimized as it was made in that year. It's not something that was made mm -hmm. in like 1985 and they tried to make it you know, past so it was coming out like that time but, so I don't know I, I think the video is real, there's something there, um, what it is, I don't know, maybe it's I don't know, do you think it could be some kind of like hybrid 
ape? Is it just an ape that walks around, or is it... Well, an ape that walks around, I don't think there's going to be some ape that just randomly walks around in Michigan, or, like, somewhere around the world. I, guess, I suppose anything's possible, but... Right. I, who knows? Yeah. That's... I guess why there's television shows about it, <laughs> right? And movies and stuff, so... Um, I know the big problem I have with, like, television shows like uh, Finding Bigfoot is I think they, they make a mockery of it. Ah, uh, it show's ridiculous. Um, I initially liked it, like, the first two seasons. I thought they were going to take it seriously, and but it's it made a mockery of people who actually go out there and do that and try to study it. And, yeah. Like the one with Bobo? Yeah. I like Bobo. Oh, they like music. Oh, they like cupcakes. Yeah, I mean, some of the stuff they say on that show is ridiculous. We watched one where they said something about, um, Bigfoot will hide underneath the water with a reed and breathe through the reed to try to, like, grab ducks or something. I mean, how would you even possibly know that? Yeah, that sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it was insane. I know, I had a buddy in college, uh, Dustin Babcock, shouts out to you. I know, uh, they were, like, key grips or something when uh, Finding Bigfoot had come to mid-Michigan and, uh, done a couple shows and they were key grips because they did, uh, like, camera work and stuff out at the college. And, uh, they said they were cool people to hang out with, but it doesn't mean that what they're doing is good, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm Just totally shot on them hard. I know. Right? <laughs> don't come after us, Bobo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else there is to say on that, really. Besides, I do I think know. there's something out there. What it is, I don't know. You can always leave some, uh, <clears throat> leave your own questions or comments in the comment there below. There we want to know what you think. Yeah, for sure. You think it's fake, or you got a question for us, or whatever? Yeah, what are your thoughts? Do you believe in Bigfoot? Do you think it's a big load of crap, or... Or do we just look like three morons on this? <laughs> it's probably more than likely. Right? Yeah. Give us a thumbs up for that one, guys. There was one thing that I didn't get to say, because you guys were talking, and I didn't get to say anything, no, but it in. was, yeah. um... Like, they... How they don't find the bodies of Bigfoot, they might have, like, some way, like, they go into a cave that someone can't find... And then they die in there, or they hide their bodies as they're dying. Right. Like, they hide well, each other's bodies, hide like they each take other's care of each other, which is a good other. point that I didn't think of, yeah. Or if there's just, like, one of them, and then, like, they go out in little groups, and then one of them, like, dies, and he puts himself in, like, somewhere that nobody Right. Would maybe they Maybe they bury each other. Set. Humans yeah. bury each other. I mean, we bury... For years, centuries, decades, we've done that, well, so... I, um, maybe I've heard, and maybe if someone's a deer hunter, that was a they could help. Way. Yeah, they could help us with that. But uh, I have heard when if deer get injured, like if you know if you're a hunter and you shoot one, that they'll head towards like the swamps and like right. you know jump in the water or right. go down in there. And I I've seen That's like horses point. do that before. Right. Like uh, so, you're saying maybe they go in the water and they just decay well, in like the water you, and die. Like you were saying, maybe they'll they'll hide under a. And then eventually they're just like... In a little cave or, uh, you know, right. under a log or some... Bugs not under a log, but maybe... <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, I kind of lost it there. But, me. But yeah, those are, those are you, great points that I yeah. never thought of. Like, maybe, I mean, who's... May, they take care if of each sick, other, I'm then sure. They, they would obviously know they're sick, so they're... Right. Like, yeah. You know. they, they don't want to be found, so yeah. they take care of their own bodies. I mean, that's a, that's a great point. I never yeah. thought of that. Um... And who, who are we to say, we don't know how long they live. No. I mean, tortoises live forever. You know, turtles that are hundreds of years old. So maybe these things just outlive humans. Maybe. Yeah. They're not ingesting all the chemicals and whatnot that we do. You got to live off the land. Um, you got any other points that we cut you off from? Because you obviously had a good one right there. <laughs> no. No, nothing okay. else. All right, you got anything? I'm good. You're good? All right, Please well, this leave. was our Bigfoot uh, segment here. I yeah. hope you enjoyed it. We're trying to expand a little bit away from wrestling now and then. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's something to say. No, I was uh, just agreeing with it. No, all right. Sorry, I like when people agree with me. Uh, if you got any ideas for us, guys, leave them in the comments. Um, we were thinking about making a Facebook page, maybe. I'm not sure on that one yet. Too much stuff to keep up. But uh, leave comments. Let us know. Give it a subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like our videos. Preferably thumbs up. Let's get our views up. I don't think we've hit 50 on any of them yet, so share away. Um, the Bigfoot one should be a good one. I know a lot of people think either one way or the other highly. Uh, so yeah, super awesome wrestling show. Lil Dre, The Doc, SE Rocks. We'll see you next time.